Who are we? Right, where are we? I know we're with Alec and Doogie. Alec, where are we? Uh, we're in Bowles Farm, uh, near the village of Freeland in Oxfordshire. We're three miles from Whitney, about six miles from Oxford, right in the middle of, in the heart of West Oxfordshire. Well, can you tell the Grassman audience how you got to know us or what happened there? A bit of a chance of fate, really. Um, bumped into yourself uh, probably four or five years ago at the Lama Show walking around and couldn't help myself but just stop and say hello. And then last September at the John Deere 50th anniversary show that we went to, we took three of our tractors up. We're walking around and literally bumped into Gary and Gemma and uh, said hello and just got talking about tractors, mainly 7810s, my favourite subject. Um, <laughs> turned out that yourselves had a 7710 that you were thinking of, of letting go. Got in touch with Gary after the show and uh, ended up buying it off you. She's been here for the last five months at Wilkinson Farming and been put to work. It's not, it wasn't bought as a, as a toy. She's been, she's been here at work. And how has she done? She's gone well. She sits on our 460 spearhead batwing topper. Uh, she's been on grain cart. She's been haymaking time. She was on the, the 770 Volto tether. She's been good. So you're a John Deere man, you're a Scania man. That ticks all our boxes. But what exactly do you do here? I started off in 1994 on my own with the Ford 7810. Uh, left my full-time job when I was 20. Wanted to have a go. Been tractor mad all my life. Love growing corn. Corn's always been my thing. I love draft work, being out on the land. Got going. Got very lucky, met some great people, picked up some good work, built the business up to where we are now, which is 3,700 acres of whole farm, contract farming here in Oxfordshire, a uh, 25 mile radius of our home here at Bowles Farm. We run the farms for the owners. We've got seven different landowners that we work with. We grow a mixture of wheat, winter barley, spring malting barley, which is our biggest acreage crop now, oilseed rape and spring beans. We run three class Lexian combines and seven fairly classic John Deere tractors. Why classic John Deere tractors, if you don't mind me asking? We've got six 10 series. Um, we've got the 7710 from yourselves and we've got five 7810s. Five? Five, yeah. Seven eight tens. Yeah, we are trying not to swap any out now because they're getting hard to find. When we find a good one, we're tending to keep the rest and try and increase the fleet, not decrease it. Because they're getting very difficult to find, we're trying to spread the workload across them all because they are the backbone of the farm. And then a bit of the local celebrity, we've got the, the 9620 500 horse Arctic. Very rare tractor in the, in the UK, the 96. There was lots of 94s and 95s, but there's very few 96s. Very lucky to find her. She's been with us for five years and going nowhere in a big hurry. There's one particular 7810 that's not this one over your shoulder. There's one particular 7810 you call yours. Yep. She's a very rare tractor. What's she? We have two quite rare ones. One's a 50k spec gearbox auto quad, but she's still on the, common, the, the non common rail 8.1 Powertech engine. There was very few of those because most of the 50Ks were auto power with the common rail. So a 50K auto quad on air is quite unusual. Wow. And the other one I've had for a long, long time, it was the second 7810 I ever owned. And uh, she'd been with us for about 12 years now. She'd done 3000 hours when I bought her and she's just coming up 9000 now. And uh, she, she looks like she's come out the box. That 7, 8, 10, 02, 50k on air, I guarantee is worth more money today than she would have been new. Would you agree or disagree? I would probably think she is. Probably all the 7, 8, 10s are worth more than I, certainly I paid for them. The accountant keeps quizzing me why the tractors are appreciating and not depreciating. That is just the popularity of that model. Without being funny, I mean 7, 8, 10s won't last forever. You may think they will. At some point, are you not going to have to bite the bullet and look at your newer type tractor? What's your thoughts there? Or are you just going to keep going? Lots of people keep asking me that because I'm such a 10 series fan. The day will come. I don't see the day coming for quite a while. It might even be Doogie's problem, the next range of tractors wow. on the farm. Um, What's Doogie's favourite tractor though? Because he could change the game here. Well, <laughs> better ask the man. What's your favourite Doogs? Is it Deers? Uh, it's the New Holland I left in a couple of weeks ago, isn't it, Dougie? Aye. You're, corru <laughs> you're corrupting him now. <laughs> the 9620 is your favourite. Yeah, the, oh, the well, big Arctic yeah. is favourite.
said you had three combines. Yeah, we've got. They're not uh, John Deere's. No, we ran a John Deere C670i for two seasons a few years ago. Very, very good little combine. Great little combine. That is the biggest of John Deere's twin rotor design that I really like. We just needed more output. We, we were running a class with it as well, the 570 plus, but we swapped that for a, a 600 Lexian that Mark, my farm foreman, drives. That's a good combine. She's a beast. So you have the 600 Lexian, the 570 plus, then you have a third one there somewhere? Yeah, we have a little 430 Evolution that we just bought this time. We've took some outside contract combining on with a 1400 acres of spring malting barley to cut. We needed more combine capacity just for that, well, what is now the pressure period. And where do we find you at harvest time? Um, I drive the 570 plus, that's my combine. I'm always on the combine. Scania behind us. Yep. You have a couple of trucks in the road too. What do you need the trucks for? Well, this one, that's my four series. We've had her for 10 years. I bought it from Scania's as an ex-contract hire. She was a Fowler Welch lorry before I had her. She pulls a SDC bulk tipper. The lorries move all around grain, uh, anywhere between nine and 10,000 tons a season. The other lorry, I've got a V8 R560, and she pulls the canap and walking floor. We supply to our own farms, but to other farms, uh, compost, green waste compost for farm use. Well, this four series behind your shoulder here is pretty tasty. Now, you've, you've obviously an awful lot of pride in that truck, the, the airbrushing in the side, but it's not just a standard airbrushing. You've, you've airbrushed your own tractors onto the side of it and combined by the looks of things. You've, you've obviously been working in this lorry for a few years to get it to where it is now. Yeah, it's been my uh, sort of getaway from the pressure of the farm at times. Uh, it took me 10 years to get it. Still not quite finished yet, there's still a few things I want to do. But I have seen pictures of you online with some silverware with this truck. Uh, yeah, we've been to a few truck shows and truck fests. Had a bit of success this year at our local Evesham truck show and truck fest Malvern, Southwest. We had a first place in the senior classes. It's a good bit of fun, met some nice people and uh, it's a good weekend away for the, for the kids. So, so you and Dougie like to hit the road and... Yeah, we like to like, chuck our bags and a toothbrush in and, and blow on for the weekend. <laughs> Okay. You got to keep the teeth clean, Dougie. That's important. Do you like the way? Do you like going away in the weekends in the truck? Is that your favourite? Truck's your favourite. What truck? Do you prefer the V8 or what's your favourite truck? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's enough of that. Was ours not doing it for you? And it was here last week. No. She was good, wasn't she? Eva was good. Yeah, we did. We did burn a bit of your diesel. <laughs> Dougie was trying to work out how to get the engine out. He said. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one day we put a V8 in our four series, perhaps. <laughs> you started out with Fords then? Yeah, I was a Ford man when we started. Yeah, I started with a beautiful 7810 on a J plate. Um, did me well. What about the T? Do you know anything about TWs? Yes, we, we ran a TW35, very similar to your own, not as nice as yours, but. So, have we finally found a man that will be able to show us how to drive a TW35? Because. Without being too horrible, we haven't had a guy yet fit for one. <laughs> well, are you the man? The crash box certainly wants some getting around. I'm a bit rusty, but I'll certainly, yeah, we'll have a, we'll have a go with a girl. She's brought back a few memories when she arrived yeah. in the yard the other day. Yeah.